good afternoon everyone so i'm extremely elated to introduce our first guest for today mr sachin rajaram kumbuje mr sachin kumbuje is a healthcare professional a edutechpreneur startup mentor speaker author and philanthropist holding a masters degree in pharmacy and mba in human resource management and marketing he spent few years in pharmaceutical industry working in technology transfer he is presently leading opex along with other ventures like siri plan b sibic and satvik all his ventures are humanity plus companies to take humanity to the next level he has been associated with number of organizations leading institutions as one of the board members few of them are incubator seed management committee at mit academy of engineering ede pune and with startup center at cips andhra pradesh innovation and incubation center at sanjay godavari university incubation center government college of engineering karad i would also like to mention one of his major achievements for his initiative to promote make in india for this he got recognition from prime minister's office with his bootstrap startup he impacting more than 25000 students and professionals for startup and skill development in 5 years his vision is to solve india's unemployment crisis through balancing job creators and job seekers ladies and gentlemen give a massive round of a virtual clap to our very special guest mr sachin kumbuje i would request our participants if you have any questions for our guest you can post them in the chat box over to you sir Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, am I audible, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes. Yep. So first of all, I would like to congratulate all those three students who have cracked the final round of Toycathon, and I look forward for you even uh, at this particular time point to handhold and support these three finalists in case if they require any kind of support for the startup or uh, anything which is related with their business model. So kudos to the, uh, those three finalists. as well as those who have participated but could not make it up to the finals even i would like to congratulate uh, to them as well uh, being you know participative in such kind of program could be you know uh, one of the sign that yes you are moving ahead in this particular journey now uh, one more thing i would like to congratulate to all the organizers uh, entire institution and your uh, institutional innovation council or iic sale for organizing a session with a topic vision to reality right because you know uh, since last 3 uh, to 4 years i have been into as a resource person visiting multiple institutions in online mode offline mode and most of the times the topic is you know a startup and entrepreneurship opportunities for engineering for healthcare for management right but this is the first time which i am looking at uh, in the last 3 to 4 years where the topic is more precise and it works on the ground or the foundation skills vision right so that is really admirable and appreciable uh, those who have coined this particular topic vision to reality because at initial level when you start your startup when you start your business uh, most of the times businesses or most of the times the early age entrepreneurs they have a focus on you know utilizing monetary aspects in the business but uh, when you work hard day and night in your startup in your business and then after 3 years 4 years then you realize no i have to stick with my own vision and then after 3 and 4 years then the questions are like if if i am doing this if i am earning like uh, in in crores and in you know uh, millions of rupees what is my core purpose and that is the reason where you all need to start with a foundation and the foundation is vision you may you know call this as a vision or mission or objective of your company but it aligns with the only fact what is the purpose maybe you are starting with any business which is into food processing it can be into food products it can be in online e-commerce it can be related with agriculture it can be related with textile or anything you pick any business it can be startup which we call them as a innovative business model or it can be any conventional or traditional business but the core remain the same and that is nothing but the purpose why 
you are doing whatever you are doing right so uh, you know as a as a business development analyst or or a, as an entrepreneur we even slowly learn each and every aspect of how how to do this how to do that but unless and until you focus on your why everything is in vain and that is why you know this topic once again i admire and appreciate uh, all the organizers for coining this particular topic vision to reality okay now uh, basically the area which i come from i am basically uh, not an engineer most of the you know uh, students or most of the uh, to be entrepreneurs they consider me as an uh, engineer because i am basically working in a startup space in the last 5 and 6 years but i am not an engineer i have that fascination for engineers i am basically a healthcare professional and for me uh, i am not a planned entrepreneur or i am not a second generation or third generation or a, or a family businessman no i am accidental entrepreneur or you can uh, consider this as first generation entrepreneur where i engaged or i you know cannot use a word wasted but i utilized the initial 3 years into try fail and learn so the pattern which i have seen during these initial 3 years i could learn what not to do in the business and when you realize what not to do in the business you automatically or spontaneously learn everything i hope the second resource person must agree with my statement that if you know what not to do automatically or consciously you know everything about what has to be done right so i am going to share you one presentation uh, for vision to reality where in this entire session for the next 30 40 minutes i want to showcase my own opinion along with a toolkit which will make you familiarize because right now this is the stage where we are you know uh, both uh, of the today speakers are not here to you know share you what are the opportunities in the market what are the challenges in the market we do all agree that yes we do have the opportunities but how to grab that opportunity and how to go ahead so in this particular session i am going to share you number one the first nugget of my session would be discussing why what and how the entire model the entire toolkit i am sharing with you so that you can just take it down with your notes and everything so that you can actually work on all these aspects all these pointers okay very quick pointers which we basically adopt in our organization right right now when i started in 2016 i started with opex that was the only uh, startup which i had but in the last 5 years i could you know uh, lead other organizations other startups as well so right now i am in a position to lead opex as a startup accelerator cdic as a business incubation center cd which is one of our upcoming promising uh, edutech startup uh, into healthcare and food for healthcare and food professionals then uh, one of the uh, chamber of sme which i am associated with and i'm you know uh, uh, you know express this gratitude to mr nilesh lele sir uh, who have recommended uh, for this particular session so i am anyways connected with these business organizations and this is where i could learn multiple aspects of this business right so even today i am basically not an you know a complete entrepreneur still i am learning uh, many of the things and the model which i wanted to you know showcase all of you this you can immediately adopt maybe in your existing businesses or maybe you as an to be entrepreneur so i'll just quickly Uh, share you this particular presentation and then we can go ahead with the same so vision to reality so this is basically where uh, when we talk about goal setting when you introduce anything maybe your business is into a service or into a product so when you introduce or when you launch your business in the market no doubt we even have a personal goal so like how we have a personal goal similarly we have a business goal as well for example if i am starting with mumbai or my initial target market is mumbai then how i can reach to other markets as well if i am right now catering one metro city how i can cater 10 cities in the next one year to come so this is how maybe a short term goal maybe a long term goal we basically set a vision set a goal for uh, all our business uh, 
foundations or our professional goals right so in this regard as i said goal can be a short term goal but a long term uh, even long term goal but vision is something which you can see for all the organizations you consider uh, microsoft you consider you consider linkedin google even reliance anything any company you see even your institution have a vision right empowered women enriched women excellent so this is basically a vision statement now how we can transform this vision into a reality because vision statements are not just mere to you know uh, define a statement and drop to your websites no each and every day along with all our team members along with all our stakeholders we try to transform this vision into reality and that is how we basically frame we basically define some short term goals and long term goals may be decided by management may be decided by, by leaders and may be decided by team members as well so there is we have equal contribution from the leaders as well as from the team players even i am going to share you a case study of google so google when started in 1998 how an okr model which i am going to propose in this particular session okr model which is of google how google has transformed everything in the next 3 years 1999 2000 and 2001 with this one model that is okr how you can utilize this model in your journey of entrepreneurship in your business your business can be you can be a micro entrepreneur or nano entrepreneur or you can be uh, anything or maybe a startup founder but for each and every organization you can utilize this okr even okr is highly recommended for all the institutions as well which wants to you know transform their vision statement into a reality right now this is the outline of this presentation first thing which i am going to share you that is setting vision of the company how you can set or what are the rationals behind setting up a vision for a company for an organization number 2 which i am going to focus on that is okr model and okr model is the one which you can immediately adopt for your organization it can be any kind of organization and later on i'll be sharing on kpi and project planners so these three are nothing but number one i'm going to share you why so that is the why component why aspect of setting a vision right so in first nugget so that is basically why number two is what what are the objectives so in okr model we will be you know speaking more on discussing more on the objective the what part and how is the latter part that is kpi and project planners which i am going to share you okay so this is about why what and how about this vision to reality okay so this is basically a process flow which you all needs to understand so the first thing which we basically focus on or create so that is nothing but vision so vision is nothing but your purpose okay now in the first half i was uh, basically a, a jury member for one of the university the sanjay goda university and uh, there they had some 12 uh, incubators and i was basically evaluating their startup pitch so one of the candidate he has mentioned a, a a slide where he has mentioned eight vision statements see this is something where you go in a wrong direction completely wrong direction your objectives can be 5 6 7 8 it can be multiple but your vision should be only one and that is where you can have absolutely a, a laser focus on your vision so your vision statement should not be you know multiple statements right it may not be measurable and that's the key your vision should be broader vision your vision should be you know contributing something for the planet contributing something for a society contributing something for the human beings it can be anything but it should be a broader perspective and that is why vision is nothing but your purpose right that we are going to discuss and next step in this process is basically what if i am setting a vision if i am setting or if i know why i am doing this what is the purpose then i need to you know again 
cross function my entire team by modulating this okr model okr is basically objectives and key results that we are going to discuss ahead and last is actual ground work which your team does every day and every night which you know everyone tries to fulfill this vision tries to fulfill this goal statement so that is nothing but kpi and project planner which we are going to talk about on kpi matrix and how to have the team management and project management so setting vision of the company so for this the first thing which you need to understand is finding your purpose and what could be the fantastic or amazing thing which we all have to find our purpose is nothing but this one so you may have seen this particular diagram that is ikigai so ikigai is basically a japanese concept and this is basically a reason for being if you are alive then what is your purpose why you are on this planet every day when you wake up at 5 o'clock 6 o'clock 7 o'clock at any time in the morning what is your purpose on this planet see i am i am not you know uh, defining this in a in a in that particular way that each and every person you should have be in a role of social worker social aspect or a contribution is one of the part of our entire lifetime so what is your ikigai so understand what is your ikigai and even i must recommend even most of the students most of the participants you may had you know uh, uh, read about this ikigai book as well okay so what you love what you are good at what you can be paid for and what the world needs see as a startup enthusiast or as a startup ecosystem enabler whenever i you know uh, go on sharing a session on startup for all the beginners in startup i focus on the fourth part that is what the world needs if you are doing a business we here we see that what is the customer pain point what is the burning problem of the customer which you as a business entity which you as a startup founder which you as an entrepreneur are there to solve and that is nothing but what the world needs so here we want to connect three parts of our own life and that is nothing but your purpose your passion and your profession these three parts or this triangle it will work hand in hand maybe in a personal life maybe in professional life you may be an employee you may be an entrepreneur but for each and every one we need to understand or we need to you know connect these dots right you may have read this connect the dots by rashmi bansal as well right connect the dots now how you can connect the dots from your purpose to passion to profession and this is how you can you know work 24 by 7 with your passion and interest in your business so if you are doing say for example if someone is telling me that yes textile business or or uh fintech applications or fintech startups they are coming with a great opportunity after pandemic in india and you should invest in fintech frankly speaking if i have no interest in finance if i have no interest in banking even i have no clue about how this industry work why should i invest my time or why should i invest in this business where i am not passionate about if you are coming with any idea which is great in healthcare which is great in e-commerce and for this sector i have a passion so when i see a passion for these connected sector then i'll utilize my 100% i'll give my 100% for that for those particular sectors so many of the times even most of the professionals they you know go on asking tell me the business idea i have you know uh, uh, this much amount which i can invest in so i as as an uh, you know le leader as an incubator i basically tell them consult them that no we cannot give you an idea you have to come with your own idea which you are passionate about so find whether whatever business entity you are coming with or whatever business idea you have you are passionate about and that is how you need to connect what you love what you are good at what you can be paid for and what the world needs if 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 you are into that particular business where whatever product you are manufacturing or whatever services you are providing that is of no use for the world that is for a no use for people then this ikigai will not complete or that triangle will not complete why one should pay you 
or why your customer will pay you for this matter where he is not in a requirement of these products so understand these things and then you can go ahead so number one is finding your own purpose find what is your why before you do anything maybe you are you are you are making or you are manufacturing something and putting it on amazon and flipkart maybe it has a requirement in the market absolutely fine and that is where you have a passionate about or you have a passion about so let's check out some of the uh, great statements or vision statements of some of the uh, finest companies or finest startups in the world number one is microsoft so microsoft original vision statement is there will be a personal computer on every desk running microsoft software this is a broader vision statement by the microsoft they have you know not said anything about their uh, you know short term goal or long term goal this is their vision this is their mark and for this right now if if i am setting this vision i have this mark and based on this now i have to figure out how to achieve this so number one why you are doing this number two what are the objectives and number three is then see any ways you can figure it out how to do it because we all are indians and we are expert in the indian innovation which we call them as jugaad right we have mistakenly taken this word jugaad but for you consider all silicon valley innovations we consider them innovation but right now whatever innovations we are doing these are need based innovation right so we know we can figure out figure it out how to do it but number one figure it out why to do it and what to do it right or what are the objectives so this is basically the vision statement for microsoft this is for amazon our vision is to be earth's most customer centric company to build a place where people can come to find and discover anything they might want to buy online so these are basically a blended version of vision statement only one statement they have not you know uh, made a list of their vision statements only one vision statements and their each and every day task is aligned with their vision statement right same is the case with google so this is google's vision statement to provide access to the world's information in single click and yes this vision statement they framed in year 1999 and they have proved their vision they are you know whatever things or whatever product they are coming with maybe gmail maybe google drive maybe google meet maybe anything any product you consider of google their vision statement is one of the as uh, being one of the top search engine in this entire planet on this entire planet they basically align their each and every product for this vision statement to provide access to the world's information in single click now when when we consider our vision statement now this is our vision statement whenever we you know uh, whatever daily activities we do being as a startup accelerator or incubation center our vision statement is basically to solve india's unemployment crisis through balancing job creators and job seekers so what we do is number one thing which we figured out is what are our expertise number two what are our skill sets number three what exactly world is looking for world is looking for startups world is looking for a supporting system for startups world is looking for skilled graduates and that is why we have made this particular statement like balancing job creators and job seekers now how we can balance this is basically when we see unemployment crisis again i'm not going to share you much about unemployment crisis everyone knows about whatever is happening with uh, the the entire unemployment uh, related things and the growth rate in unemployment here what we wanted to have here is we don't want to create only job creators or only startup founders right when one when we create one job creator it automatically build 10 job vacancies or 10 it will you know uh, facilitate jobs to average 10 people on other hand industries they are looking for employable candidates skilled graduates and that is why we have other venture as well which is into skill development so right now we are running two different ventures one is startup accelerator and one is skill development and through this both divisions we are aligning our each and every task for our vision statement and that is nothing but solving india's unemployment crisis so here 
our major focus is on unemployment that can be solved through job creators or through skilling graduates that is uh, building job seekers right so this is our statement when we you know figure out what we have to do and how we have to do now this is your turn to create your vision statement right now there are multiple you know uh, blogs are there there are multiple uh, websites are also there where we see there are important tools so that you can create these vision statements so your vision statement can be defined in multiple ways but it should be a blended version right so this is how you can create a vision statement you can refer some of the uh, sector wise vision statements as well so that you can have pretty clarity about right now till now we have seen the first component that is why or the purpose behind uh, defining a vision statement next is what so this is the second nugget what what are the objectives so okr model so i'm going to share you something about this okr model so okr model is basically objective and key results and this is how the model uh, evolved from 1950 right so as we know you know management by objectives the model which you know introduced by peter drucker along with along with other all models or business management or business development models so it was first introduced in 1950 later on the same model okr model was first documented by andrew right but the actual implementation of this model was did by john deer and that is in 1999 right so in 1998 when larry page and along with his co-founder they started with google in initial first year whatever things they were doing no doubt they had a vision statement as well but after one year they could raise the first uh, vc funding level and in 1999 their first vc firm or the first vc which uh, through which they could attract the investments for google at that particular time was from john deere and here because vc or because john became one of the stakeholder of the google then he introduced okr model for google this is the first time when anyone who wanted to introduce or simply you can say like wanted to have trial and error on this model and john then introduced this okr model for the google even at this particular time point larry page clearly stated that at that particular time we did not have any other option and that's that's the reason why we you know uh, affirmed john to you know adopt this particular model for our google right after 1999 in the next 3 years google has seen enormous changes and amazing uh, you know revenue or amazing customer footprints in their business so for the next 3 years they have clearly seen 10x output or 10x revenue from whatever operations google had and that was in 2001 when everyone wish to adopt this okr model in their business organization so you consider any kind of organization yes you can consider this okr model you can introduce okr in your life as well so when you see yourself as an individual see maybe you are a student right now you have nothing to do you you are right now not in a position as an employee or as an entrepreneur you are just a student when you see yourself as an independent even today you can utilize this okr model right so what we are the john's uh, john's objective in 1999 when he wanted to introduce this to the google so to develop a workable model for planning as measured by these key results number 1 finishing the presentation on time number 2 completing a sample set of 3 months objectives and key results so that is where a quarterly check like how we have quarterly sales review meeting similarly quarterly review of all the okrs in a google number 3 having management agree to institute a trial system for a 3 month period so whatever uh, models you want to introduce in your company or in your systems and hierarchy then you should approve these models so that this can be run for 3 months right 
So this is a statement of Larry Page when they introduced OKRs, and this is out of their success. So OKRs have helped uh, help lead us to 10x growth many times over. They have helped make our crazily bold mission of organizing the world's information perhaps even achievable. They have kept me and the rest of the company on time and on track when it mattered the most. So when you set a vision, whatever activities you are doing on daily basis, it should be measurable. It should be measurable. If suppose I'm hiring 20 employees for my organization, I need to track their performance on daily basis, on monthly basis, on quarterly basis. So whenever I state a vision statement for my company, maybe that is not measurable. It may be achievable. It may not be achievable. Even one more fun fact about Google is whatever goal statements Google or the entire team of Google states, they believe that 40% of their goal should not be achievable. So they basically raise a bar high when they set their goal. Google plus the failed product of Google is a result of those 40%. So they are proud that our failure rate is 40%. This indicates that, yes, we are innovating something. If we are innovating something today, yes, there are 1% chances of success and 99% chances of failure. Their failure rate is 40% and they are proud of it. Because if I'm not trying anything, I cannot get something innovative. And this is what startups are doing in. This is what Tesla, this is what SpaceX is doing it, right? So even you can even go through the uh, case study of Elon Musk, right? So initially he had PayPal and he got some $180 million when he, you know, uh, sold this entire stakes or equity of the PayPal. And then how he have utilized $180 million for his SpaceX dream project. And at this particular time point, he had two projects in line, Tesla as well as SpaceX. And he, he was utilizing this $180 million for these two projects. He left only $20 million when SpaceX third attempt was failed. And he had only one chance left. And with his 20 rest or remaining last $20 million, but he you know, had this attempt and that attempt was so successful that within a month, NASA approached SpaceX, NASA approached Elon Musk and rest is the history. So unless and until you try, unless and until you have this, uh, you know, assuming that yes, we may have failure, unless and until you have this model of try, fail, learn and repeat, you are not going to upgrade yourself. This is in, the, in, in your regard as an independent or individual or you as a business entity, right? So here, even Google believes that their 40% goal, whenever even they state or whenever they define any goal statement along with their team, they see to it that 40% should not be achievable. So objectives and key results, what exactly they are. Okay, now objectives. So an objective is a clearly defined goal that you would like to achieve by the end of a period. So maybe my objective can be any statement or anything which I want to achieve within one year. Even more to it that there are two assumptions here, whatever objectives you want to do it, do it for three years, do it for five years, because these are the magic years when you set your goal, right? So set a goal for three years or set an objective for five years and see to it whatever key results or KPI metrics you are setting for your team or for your entire business organization, everything is aligning with your goal, right? Number two, an objective should tie to both the team's overarching mission or goal as well as the individual's personal goal. So when we set up a KPI for our own employees, these KPIs are basically set for them as a team. Say maybe we have four teams. Number one is sales, number two is marketing, number three is operations, number four is backend or a technology, right? So right now they are working in departments, right? So each department, they have some 10 team players or team members. Right now, their goal statement is for the entire team. So we will have objectives for sales, for marketing, for operations and for technology. This is 
a, a goal a goal statement or an objective for them as a team number 2 we have independent employees and they should have their independent kpi if i am working in marketing i have along with me nine other colleagues co co team right and this is where i have some independent objectives as well right while key results key results are the actionable and quantifiable steps you can take to accomplish an objectives key results should be measurable i'm going to share you one process flow through which you can understand this uh, all these things as well just a moment we'll we'll take it uh, ahead in the latter part of the presentation each key result should be measurable and applicable to the objective so whatever objective you are setting i'm going to share you some of the examples as well even at the end of this session i i can drop you some of one tedx session of john and one more session which alliance or through which you can understand this okr model in deep even i'll going to share you a book through which you can get everything about this okr model so key results are basically it should be quantifiable it should be tangible it should be measurable say let's take an example say objective for my social media management team could be to bring 10000 followers on all our social media platforms right now if i am setting this objective for my team for one year for one year then what are the key results which are expected from my team members or from the entire team so that is nothing but the measurable steps or the tangible steps for example if my objective is to reach at 10000 followers on my social media handles then i'll drill down on each and every aspect like for an example if if i have some 2000 followers on my instagram 2000 followers on my linkedin what would be the measurable steps or what would be the tangible steps which i must have in my key results and when i said this that yes after one quarter i may have 6000 after second quarter i may have 8000 i may have 10000 after third quarter this is how you drill down this objective and bring it to key results and when you quantify this when you make this uh, actionable and achievable then you can allot this task to your team members or to your subordinates so this may be uh, organization would require hierarchy for this or it may not be right for example let's consider a team of uh, yes rujuta divekar rujuta divekar she has a team member uh, i guess only five team members along with rujuta divekar there are only six who are working for her own company right so here there is not or there is absolutely no need that you may have a company like reliance or a company like amazon where you have this long hierarchy no even for any startup which have only five or six member they may have this particular okay or model which they can set up so if i am a leader if i am an entrepreneur i'll set four objectives for my four teams say for example objective 1 could be for marketing objective 2 can be for sales objective 3 can be for operations objective 4 can be for technology for each and every team we may set some of the key results expected key results just a moment i have some few chats here uh is my presentation visible uh, yes sir it is there is some okay. patches coming so just black patch. yes 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 just a moment probably some other windows open that's what the technical problem is it is it visible now yes sir yes it's clear now clear okay now. okay okay yeah so yeah so let's take an example like i am setting as a leader i am i am basically believing in that 50% of the objectives should be shared by a leader and 50% of the objectives should be shared by team members so that through this brainstorming through this discussion we can set a goal because here we need to see some of the Uh, reality checks as well as some of the actionable steps and through this brainstorming i may set four objectives for my four different teams 
now these teams will work on their objectives in fulfilling these objectives in fulfilling these goals within the stipulated time maybe one year three year five year it can be anything and based on the key results then they will separate out and they will form their kpi so kpis are basically key performance indicators so kpis are everywhere and this is basically a task of any hr who is working with corporates and multinational companies so hr department is the one who basically looks into kpi part so this is a kpi for google right in process kpi and output kpi now what exactly is kpi i'll just share you one excel sheet through which you can understand this this is our own template which you can you know get through this kpi i guess it is visible to all the excel sheet is it visible please confirm not yet sir just a moment is it visible yes it is sir okay okay so now here you can see this is basically a kpi for marketing this is for sales right so this is basically a, a sample kpi to understand uh, it in clear way okay now this kpi has set for our social media marketer or a digital marketer now what is his task social media management of opex social media management of siri social media management of satvik which is one of our entity reviews and ratings of for opex reviews and ratings for satvik and website traffic okay now let's take an example that as a company we are looking for 10000 followers on our social media handles in next one year to achieve this what task or what daily task my social man media manager has to do it and this is how i can track this so here you can see week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 and monthly performance and this is how i can calculate kpi so if someone if some of the employees coming to me and he is asking for promotion he is asking for increment then i must have his metrics metrics of his performance and based on the calculated kpi then i am going to decide whether he can be promoted to the next level or not whether i should give him some increment or not so this is how exactly corporates and multinational companies they work on kpi by setting their daily task by setting their weekly task and their short term goals right so here you can see number of create number of creatives created and posted on social media how many visitors for this week social media post in a week for facebook for insta for linkedin so here not the thing is if i am a social media manager my work is to you know create some attractive post and post this on our social media that's it this is what my work is or this is what my job responsibility is no my job responsibility is to bring maximum followers my job responsibility is to you know engage all our followers with some attractive data or attractive information or whatever product offers we have and this is how you can measure so these are kpis are nothing but measurable matrices of each and every employee of each and every team even as a leader i have my own kpi maybe i am if if i consider myself as a boss i should not you know looking for any promotion or any kind of increment right but still i have my own kpi because unless and until i state or i fix my own kpi i should not achieve that goal right so when you have crystal clarity on your goal when you have a laser focus on your vision then to achieve that long term vision to achieve that long term goal you need to take effort each and every day sitting in an office or maybe work from home in any case this is what your exact job description is or should be right for example here you can see reviews and ratings so number of reviews received on gmb google my business number of five star ratings received on google my business so for example in first week i have received four five star ratings on google my business so this is basically i am approaching to accomplish my goal if suppose in second week we have received five uh, five star ratings then yes we are about to you know achieve this particular goal right so you cannot achieve this kind of goal statements or vision statements overnight you need to have this independent efforts same is the case with sales if we are doing email marketing 
then this is how measurable matrix should be right so if if we are using email marketing tool how many emails you have sent in one week if you have sent 10000 emails in a week then calculate how many emails have been opened by the users right how many if if out of 10000 1000 users they have opened email then what is the percent open rate that is 10% out of 10% how many users they have actually clicked on our product so that is percent of clicks so it may be again 10% 10% of 10% so this is how you have to calculate the conversion and then based on this you can able to formulate your monthly performance and that is your nothing but monthly kpi so to attain your goal you attain your okrs you need to figure out what is your kpi so now here you have to differentiate if you are doing any business you have to differentiate yes i need to have some departments like sales marketing operations production or technology can be anything based on your business model and in each and every department you should set this kpi right so this is basically a simplest template which you can you know adopt you can even google this you will you know get some of the uh, excellent uh, google sheets as well so these are the kpis for google in process kpi and output kpi right next so this is yes so this is how we basically formulate this okr so set an objective for each and every objective you will have multiple key results say for example your objective is let's consider if if you are working on a e e-commerce platform like flipkart and amazon or maybe anything then your objective is in the next 3 years you should have 1 million app downloads let's consider that is your objective right in 3 years you will bring 1 million downloads app downloads right then fragment this objective in multiple key results right now in order to achieve 1 million app downloads what key results you may expect right for example you can fragment this 1 lakh uh, or 1 million into 33% 33% and 34% every year so this is how you can fragment then you can focus on your brand visibility so that you can have much more downloads by the by the users right and number 3 can be anything which can be related with your offers or customer relationship or maybe a refer and earn scheme it can be a free cash on delivery something anything anything so this is how you will set this key results now in order to achieve this key results then you need to set some of the kpis right conversion rate here to increase conversion rate to 10% by end of quarter 2 for example right now our email marketing open rate is say 5% then our target for the next quarter should be 10% our open rate should be maximum more people more users should open our email number of emails when you know or the open rate will be more same is the rate or increase in the rate of conversions right so this is how you have to set this conversion rates or maybe anything related with your technology part which is measurable so it should be measurable so this is top to bottom uh right from your the okr model so this is basically an example where a startup objective is to raise 1 million dollar in 6 months so that is their objective now how to do this key result 1 key result 2 key result 3 discuss team sheet with six investors get 50k installations number 3 validate value proposition right so this is at top level the founders level next middle level or at team lead level then discuss term sheet with six investors which are assigned to ceo get 50000 installation which is assigned to marketing head and validate value proposition which is nothing but product market fit assigned to development so this is how you have to figure out how you can achieve this objective of raising 1 million dollar in 6 months so this is a uh, okr model for this my mobile game which is one of the example to you know uh, simplify okr model right now next is project management so uh, now like how we have seen this particular excel sheet similarly we have this project planner which you can even utilize just a moment is it visible 
Excel no, sheet? No, sir. Just a moment. No. Is it visible now? Yes, it is. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Now, this is one more example. Say, for example, for our skill development venture, we made this last month. Say, for example, this is for a project. This is basically a project for national level industry awareness workshop. So that was the event which we wanted to target, right? Now, this is one of our project. Say, for example, now our objective is to bring 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Let's consider this is an objective, one of the objective. In order to bring 10,000 YouTube subscribers, what could be the key results? We figured out what could be the key results. Then we figured out what would be the KPI, right? Now, here we ideated one national level workshop so that maximum users, maximum people, maximum users will visit our YouTube channel and they will go on subscribing so that we can achieve this 10,000 target. So this is basically a project. So when you ideate any project, how will you plan this project? So this is basically a project planner. In a month or two, you may have some two or three projects, multiple projects, maybe uh, minor projects, maybe major projects, right? So here you can use this TRA TRS project planner. TRA TRS is nothing but TRAs, task responsibility action steps, and TRS is nothing but timelines, reviewer and supporter. So here for any project to accomplish, what we did is we drilled down all the, or we extracted what are the different tasks or checklist, right? So these are 17 checklists or 17 planners for this one project. I'm talking about only one project. Now, who has the responsibility to accomplish this particular task? Maybe email marketing, maybe WhatsApp marketing, maybe telemarketing, maybe setting up sales target, maybe creating social media flyers. So here we have given a responsibility to team members. Action steps, here whatever action steps we have, a detailed description that has to be allotted. Timelines, setting up deadline is important aspect in any kind of goal setting, maybe personal or maybe professional. Setting deadline has to be there. So setting a deadline, who is reviewer and who is supporter. So this is how this is basically a project planner, internal project planner, right? So this is how it actually works, right? So this is uh, for setting up role and goal of each and every employee or each and every team member so that they can have this, uh, all the tasks or checklist aligned with the final objective or final goal, okay? Similarly, I want to show you one project management team which you can utilize, just a moment. You can just uh, even uh, download that particular application as well, which is absolutely free of cost. If right now, if you are into a business, if you are into any organization, even for institution, I must recommend this particular project management tool where you can manage your, all your tasks. So this is basically FreedCamp. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. I'm not going to, you know, share all the things in detail because again, it will be, you know, time consuming process. So just, uh, just make a note that this is freedcamp.com. This is a desktop version, even mobile apps are also available. This is absolutely free of cost. Freedcamp.com. This is a dashboard. And here I can see whatever projects right now we have. Okay. Similarly, I have like how you uh, maintain your Google calendar. Similarly, this is a Freedcamp calendar, whatever activities or whatever tasks we have, you can uh, create different projects here. Under one project, you can create multiple tasks, right? Then you can set this a calendar, right? So this is how, or this is basically a simplest project management tool for all the beginners. If your organization size is 50 members, up till 50 members, you can get through every project management outcome through this, Freed camp, right? So you can uh, even utilize or give a try for this project management tool. Here you can add new project, you can manage your entire calendar here, you can manage your task, you can update everything. Whatever things are there, you can get updates in your uh, on your email as well. Okay, so this is about Freed camp. You can just uh, go through some of the video tutorials on YouTube uh, for this uh, Freed camp. Just a moment.
Yes. Now, uh, to close this particular presentation, I want to share some of the uh, quick inputs about our organization, how we are helping businesses. So we are the first and only startup accelerator in Western Maharashtra. Right now, we have six startups under acceleration and 11 startups under our incubation. So these are the 17 startups uh, for which we are providing all the uh, handholding and support, be it fundraising, be it for product development, be it for business development, be it for building a team, anything, sales, marketing, whatever. We have this uh, 16 stage startup life cycle and we do have services for all these things. Uh, we have 10 most influential entrepreneurs and 70 plus mentors on board as a mentor, as an advisor, including Honorable Chetna Sina Ma'am, who was the uh, co-chair for World Economic Forum in 2018, along with Dr. Vivek Bindra, who is the founder and CEO for Bada Business. Uh, we could impact more than 25,000 professionals and students in the last five years. This is our official entry on startupindia.gov.in as an accelerator. So in 2019, uh, we could make it and we could you know have our official listing at uh, startup india or government of india startup india portal which is a part of ministry of commerce and industry as an accelerator these are all our ventures we have this opec startup accelerator officially listed accelerator we have skills academy which is basically a skill center solving in the industry readiness needs for management engineering and pharmacy students and graduates we have this business incubation center uh, where we have 50 plus services for startups and existing businesses. We have Siri Edutech LLP, which is India's leading online Edutech platform for skilling and recruiting. We do have also a free startup community that is Plan B, where we, you know, uh, created this hyper local community where people can connect with each other for any of their needs on startup. And this is absolutely free of cost. You can reach us out through our website and email. This is our website, www.opexindia.com. Our email address, admin at the rate opexindia.com. This is our YouTube channel, OPEX India, hashtag OPEX India on YouTube. Uh, social media, we have, we do have presence on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. This is my personal profile. You can connect me on LinkedIn uh, through Sachin Kumboje. You can just type Sachin Kumboje in LinkedIn search engine. You can connect me on LinkedIn as well as on Instagram. For Instagram, my handle is Sachin.startupcoach. I'm not much active like you on Instagram, but I'm, yes, I'm, uh, too active on LinkedIn platform. So you can connect me either on LinkedIn or Instagram. So this was it from my side for vision to reality. Uh, at last, I'm once again thankful to all the organizers, including management principal and all the faculty coordinators for arranging this particular session. Thank you so much, all the participants for having me here for this particular session on vision to reality. I look forward to create or to handhold or to support maximum to be entrepreneurs, maximum women entrepreneurs, so that we can have this scalable and sustainable startup ecosystem in our country. To note this, in 2016, we had only 12% women entrepreneurs, but thankfully, because all of you right now, we have 18% women entrepreneurs for our country. So here we see 6% increment in number of women entrepreneurs. Government of India, even state government is coming with great number of opportunities and funding schemes for women entrepreneurs. And I must encourage all the women students, all the girls, all the ladies here to begin with your startup journey, be it any kind of business, innovative, conventional, traditional family business. You just have to step in, in a, any business. Government is there to support you. The institutions like you are here as a support system through this incubation model. We as an accelerator, we as in business incubators are there to always support you in this regard. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. On behalf of the entire SVT Unity IP cell, I would like to thank you for taking out your time and sharing your valuable experiences with us. As you have correctly said, like, you know, it's important to identify what you want to do, what you love to do. And everything needs to be strategized properly. You need a proper strategy. Then you need to, as you have mentioned that, you know, setting up a deadline is important. So this is full of information and the session was extremely informative and engaging. And I'm sure that the learning from the session will enlighten all our participants, especially our students who, you know, want to become an entrepreneur. 
so as you have nicely and very technically explained all the models that would be helpful so thank you so much sir once again for taking out time for us and sharing your experiences means a lot thank you so much sir yes thank you thank you so much